y'all and welcome back to my channel so today we are outside and I'm gonna be sharing with y'all our brand new shed I am so excited to have a shed to put all of my stuff in so Adrian and I spent about three days working really hard we worked our butts off on this and I'm so glad that it's done it's gonna be nice having somewhere to put you know power tools and kids outdoor toys that don't really they just hang out in the yard and they get damaged by the weather so it's gonna be nice having somewhere to put stuff like that so this particular shed is by patio well and I do want to thank patio well for sponsoring today's video they have several sizes of these metal sheds they have deck boxes um, they're also going to soon be releasing plastic sheds as well so something for everyone but I'm gonna back up a little bit and share with y'all the assembly process we did have to build a floor for this shed so I'll be sharing that as well as the shed assembly and then when we come back I'm gonna start moving stuff into the shed today I'm so excited to start getting stuff in there and getting it organized so let's rewind a little bit and then I'll meet you guys back here and we will get to organizing. The shed size that I went with is the 10 by 10. It'll come in four boxes and they'll be labeled one through four. But when you open up the first box, you'll see they have provided a pair of gloves as well as the instructions for the entire assembly. And you'll also have a list of parts for that box. As I mentioned before, you do need a floor for this shed. There are several ways to go about this. But the cheapest option for me was to build one out of wood because I don't have a truck or anything to haul this wood. I just had Lowe's deliver it for me as well as some cinder blocks to set it on. And I went back and forth on whether I wanted the shed in the front yard or the backyard. And I actually decided to put it over here kind of off to the side of the house. It's on the end where it's hidden out of sight, which I like and it's close to the back door and i also like the idea of a wood floor because it'll be really easy to move the shed if i ever decide to move it so between adrian and i both it took us one day for the floor and thankfully it was overcast and breezy so it was manageable to work and get it done and i forgot to mention they also will give you the dimensions on what size the floor needs to be so that was really helpful um, but because this is a wooden floor, I made sure that I got pressure treated for extreme weather. But I do wish I would have painted my plywood to seal it before I put the shed on top. I can still do it. It's just going to be a little bit trickier now. So maybe before you put the shed on top, go ahead and seal the plywood so you don't have to worry about water damage. And you'll also need to level before you put your floor down. Thankfully, the area that I chose in my yard, and that was another reason I kind of chose this area, is because I didn't want to have to be digging and leveling. It was already pretty level. So just keep that in mind as well. finally time to start putting the shed together. I also wanted to mention to y'all that the instruction booklet has QR codes on every step that you can scan with your phone and it'll bring up a video for you. So if it's not making sense, you can watch the video, which was really helpful for me because I'm a visual person. So we went ahead and got the frame laid out how it needed to go and Adrian went around and fastened it to the floor. That's when your four corners can go up as well as the top support frame. 
and y'all bear with me on this assembly footage my camera kept shutting off while I was filming and I think it may have been overheating because it was really hot on this day but some of the footage was corrupt and I lost it however you'll still be able to see the process in phases once the corners are done you can start putting up your walls this was really easy and to be honest the whole process of this shed was really easy it's just time consuming because there's a lot of screws there are screws that go along the top and the bottom of each sheet so that does take some time also make sure that you have some help if you do decide to purchase one it's totally doable with two people but I say the more help you have the better however if it's just you and one other person you can totally do it it took Adrian and I three days from start to finish working about five to six hours each day so if you have more help it may take you less time they also recommend that you have a ladder as well but I didn't have one. All I have is my trusty little step stool. So we made that work. There was a couple of times it was challenging, especially when we got to the end and needed to fasten down the screws on the top. But we got it done using just the step stool. that was all for day two we are now on to day three and on this day we did the roof and the doors and completed this whole thing Ellie had to come in and check it out I think she approved she hung out with us pretty much the whole time that we had been working on this there was just a little bit of trim to put on and then we can get started on the roof make sure that you pay attention when you're putting on the metal sheets for the roof because there's a certain order they have to go in again i had filmed some of this but the footage was corrupt so i lost it i was able to show a before and after you'll have three beams that go up and then from there it's a lot like the walls there's a lot of screws but it's an easy process All right, so let's open it up and I'll show y'all what it looks like finished. It is really hot in here, but uh, we still have some supplies that we just threw in here when we were done. So I need to get all that cleaned up. This is just leftover wood. I'm probably just gonna keep in here. I love the size of this shed. It's gonna be perfect. I can probably even put some of my home decor out here. I also really like how this shed has vents on both the front and the back of the shed. I think those help with moisture. One of my favorite things about this shed is that the doors open, they don't slide. Those that slide, they can be a little difficult sometimes. So I like that these open, but this one I like, it'll stay shut unless you pull those little things. It's got one on the top and the bottom, and then you can have both doors open. But this is gonna be so, good to put outdoor toys the kids water table all of my power tools that I don't want to be in the house it just worries me having stuff like that in the house and I'll also be able to clear out some of the things at my mom's house as well that she's been having to store in her pantry room stuff that takes up a lot of space we have a lot of tools in there paint supplies that can now come out here to the shed so it's going to give her some room as well so we're gonna go ahead now and get stuff moved in. I'm starting with a shelf first. It's just a plastic snap together kind of deal. I thought that would be good for all of my tools. And I just loaded stuff up into my car and drove it over here. There was stuff I had on my mom's porch, also in her deck box that I was able to get out. I wish I could have moved my car a little bit closer to the shed to unload it. However, my septic tank is right there in between the car and the shed but we had beach chairs our tent all of that kind of stuff i was able to move over to the shed
sheds are so perfect if you're like me and you don't have a garage and you need somewhere to store things. We live in a mobile home, so we don't have a garage or anything like that. And it's so nice having somewhere to keep my power tools now locked away from the kids. I don't have to worry about curious little minds, especially my saw. I always keep the batteries pulled out of them when they aren't in use, but it still always bothered me having them in the house knowing that they could get to them if they wanted. So now I don't have to worry because they will all be locked away outside. And I also made sure to get a padlock to lock all of this up so I don't have to worry about anyone walking up and taking anything. So I was gonna show y'all a quick tour of everything that I have in here so far. On this side, I pretty much have all of the yard stuff, our insect killer. I've got my leaf blower, a watering can, my water sprayer thing for the insect killer. And then down there, I just have some potting soil. These were too tall to stack all the way up. So I just put three there and then two there. Up here, I have beach toys, puddle jumpers, in the summertime, I like to keep that in my car. But it's about to be fall and winter, so I'm just gonna leave it in the shed and then when summer rolls around again, I'll put it back in the car so we'll have it. I've got all of my power tools. I still need to bring my sander out here, but I've been using that the last couple of days. Then down there on the bottom, I have all of our extra tools. And my mom labeled these a while back so we know what's in each box. And then over here in the corner, I put our bag chairs, our beach tent. Uh, we got some extra wood back there in the corner, some more beach chairs, my plywood. And lastly, over in this corner, so I don't know if y'all remember all of that wood I got on sale way back when I was doing my mom's bedroom. I stocked up because it was crazy cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was crazy cheap. And you can use this for all kinds of stuff. Now I have tons of projects to be able to use it. So I was able to get that out of my mom's pantry room. It was taking up space. Then over here, I just have the shovel, but I put all of that in here and I still have so much room to put stuff. I do eventually wanna put maybe a ramp so I can store a lawnmower in here, but I just, I love it so much. It is so hot out here. My hair is a hot mess, but I just got everything organized into the shed. And I like that this has a place for a padlock as well, so I don't have to worry about anybody coming in and stealing my stuff. So it's nice and secure. Also, something else I forgot to tell you guys, and I might have already mentioned this, is that every single piece is going to be wrapped in plastic. I left the plastic on mine i didn't really see the point in taking it off to me it just adds to the long-term protection of it um you can take the plastic off before you assemble it but to me that just seemed like added unnecessary work so i just left the plastic on anyways i am going to go ahead and end this video it feels so nice to have all of this stuff into the shed i still have more stuff i want to move but i'm just way too exhausted to do it today but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video Remember, if you wanna check out Patio Well, I'll have a link as well as a discount code down below in the description box. Remember also to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.